In this video, we are going to talk about should you wait for the Google Pixel 8 Pro or buy the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. If you walked into a store and asked for the best Android phone, you'd likely be pointed to the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Samsung's big and unapologetic flagship ticks all the right boxes for people who don't mind spending the big bucks. In the land of the Apple and Samsung Dopoly, perhaps the only other Android phone that can add a garnish of competition is the Google Pixel 8 Pro. You can compare Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra 5G and Google Pixel 8 Pro. Comparing Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra 5G of his Google Pixel 8 Pro on smart bricks enables you to check their respective spec scores and unique features. It would potentially help you understand how Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra 5G stands against Google Pixel 8 Pro and which one should you buy. If you are purchasing an Android flagship for the first time and would want to experience the most sophisticated option, waiting for the S23 Ultra is worth it. You are treating yourself to the most advanced processor, a massive front camera, and longer support for updates. The S23 series is very similar to the S22 series, but a newer processor and a longer commitment to updates mean it will stay relevant for a little longer than the S22 will. It also has significantly better battery life. If you want the best, go with the S23 or S23 Plus. For Galaxy S22 Ultra owners, no need to upgrade yet. The Galaxy S22 Ultra is still very new, and the S23 Ultra's improvements will feel minor. For Galaxy S21 Ultra owners, you don't need to upgrade yet. The Galaxy S23 Ultra has a faster new processor and better cameras with improved low light and dynamic range. Suppose you have the budget and are not in a rush to upgrade. Waiting for the Pixel 8 series is your best decision. The Pixel 8 series promises faster performance, higher efficiency, better cameras, and a significantly improved user experience thanks to the new enhancements and software features. The Galaxy S23 Ultra costs the same as its predecessor in the US, starting at $1,199. However, the device is more expensive than last time in other regions, presumably due to inflation and an increase in the cost of manufacturing. The Samsung Galaxy S23 makes the best Android phone even better, packing speedy performance, great all-around cameras, and some of the best battery life we've ever seen into a design that looks better than just about any other phone on the market. It's important to note that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra does support IP68 water resistance, which means that it can withstand being submerged in up to 1.5 meters of water for up to 30 minutes. Design and Build Quality The Galaxy S23 Ultra is practically identical to its predecessor, the S22 Ultra. The only real differences are the slightly larger camera holes and the screen curve radius. And all of this is a good thing because the S Ultra lineup boasts some exceptionally well-built phones. There's a solid aluminum frame here with Gorilla Glass Victus, two on the front and back. All of it adds up to a good and chunky smartphone. You may struggle to confidently grip it with one hand because of the size and the 234 grams of weight, but you'd never get the feeling of cheap on this phone. It's premium through and through. Google Pixel 7 Pro Display We don't have details about the Pixel 8 Pro's design and build quality as of yet. If we had to take a guess, Google could continue to build up on the unique design language that it has carefully created with the Pixel 6 and Pixel 7 series. The wide camera visor on the back of these devices gives them an identity that stands out in the sea of similar-looking Android devices, and we would love to see the same built up on the Pixel 8 Pro. We further do not know if the visor will be made of glass or aluminum. Even though the back material remains unconfirmed, our money would be on it being glass. So a combination of the aluminum midframe and good quality glass on the front and back would allow the Pixel 8 Pro to feel just as premium as the S23 Ultra. The Galaxy S23 Ultra has one card up its sleeve that the rest of the competition simply doesn't, the S Pen. The S Pen is a stylus that is housed within the body of the S23 Ultra, tracing its roots back to the legendary Galaxy Note series. With the S Pen, you unlock a whole host of precise scribbling and drawing functionality. The stylus can also be used for system navigation and control. Google Tensor G2 Logo Pixel 7 if you call yourself a gamer, going with the Galaxy S23 Ultra right away makes a lot of sense. We're not riding off the Tensor G3, 
but based on past trends on the original Tensor and Tensor G2, gaming hasn't been a large focus for Google. There's nothing to indicate this is changing in 2023. But the Galaxy S23 Ultra already performs well in gaming, so you can safely pick the Samsung phone for your daily Fortnite needs. What are the cameras? The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra comes with an insanely versatile set of cameras that also excel in setting a high bar for the rest of the smartphone market. There are four cameras on the back of the device, and all four serve their purposes very well. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra 3 Windows Night Mode What the Galaxy S23 Ultra also manages to do well is 30x and 100x digital zoom, a feature unmatched by any other phone sold in the US. 30x zoom photos have also been fairly usable now, and while it won't be wallpaper material, it is still useful to capture information at a distance that was simply not possible before. The front camera is a 12MP ISO CELLS 5K3 LU that is also seen on the Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus. It's technically a hardware downgrade from the 40MP sensor on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, but most average users are unlikely to notice a difference. Samsung Galaxy's 23 Ultra Cameras the final takeaway from the Galaxy S23 Ultra's camera setup is that it is arguably the best smartphone camera you can buy in the US. The iPhone 14 Pro Max maintains a slight lead in video, but oh so slightly. The Google Pixels have excellent post-processing, but Samsung has become the king of versatility with the S23 Ultra. No matter the shooting condition, you will always be well-equipped to take a good shot with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The only real complaint, as mentioned, would be the shutter lag and the accompanying motion blur, which can be an issue if your primary subjects are excited pets and children. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra's camera merges versatility with practicality, while the Pixel 8 Pro will be all about that Google camera magic. Google Pixel 7 Pro Camera Housing Irrespective of whether we see hardware changes or not, there's one thing we can safely guarantee for the Pixel 8 Pro, Google's computational photography magic. Google leans very heavily into letting post-processing do the heavy lifting rather than just the pure hardware. As a result, Pixel cameras have always punched way above their weight than their boring spec sheet numbers. It's even hard to recall when a Pixel's camera was bad, ever. So we remain very optimistic about what Google can do with the Pixel 8 Pro. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.